When I talk about our mission and our vision statement, our mission is to enhance the quality of life for our community by offering comprehensive behavioral health services. And we as an organization work really hard with our community partners because it's our mission to make a, a better place to live both for our staff, our consumers, and most importantly, everyone that resides in Gokibe County. Well, when I started, I actually worked uh, midnight shift. Started as a, a regular RTS, worked my way from midnight shift to day shift, became a group home manager, tried to do the same things that I uh, wished our supervisors did when I was working. And it's just, it's been, it's been a career that I've been happy that I, I got into. Um, we're licensed in our group homes for 26 individuals. We try to provide a non-institutionalized setting for our consumers. Our consumers uh, have developmental intellectual disabilities and or severe mental illness. Our direct care staff um, assist our consumers with daily living skills cooking, cleaning, medication administration, community integration, and, and, and the like. Home-based clinician gives you the unique opportunity to work with families in their, in their environment. You really learn about their culture, about what makes things go for them you're able to learn more than you would in an office-based setting. We offer a defined benefit package. We offer short-term disability, long-term disability. We offer life insurance. We offer an outstanding um, paid time off package with employment. And it's very um, a family-oriented type of organization. They want you to go to your children's games. They want you to be involved um, if you need to go and attend a track meet for your daughter very supportive in working around that schedule in order to accommodate you to be able to do that. So the first week is really dedicated to the classroom type training um, and the additional training would be CPR certification, first aid, um, and then once we get through that first week we embed the, the direct care staff in the home that they would be selected in, in working and typically um, they would receive additional training for approximately two to three weeks and that's what we would call shadowing you know where you're going to be with veteran staff learn the ropes and typically after a total of probably four weeks including that initial week they're they're ready to to go on their own one of the things that brought me here was wanting to have the ability to advance in my career i wanted to be able to have support to have supervision and to really be able to grow into what I wanted to be. So, you know, community mental health gives you that opportunity. I consider myself on vacation 365 days a year because I can basically go out and do anything after work, weekends, anything else. I don't have to worry about traveling. You have to be a compassionate individual. You know, it's, it's not an easy job working in a, in a group home setting. You have a lot of um, individuals with behavior issues. Not, not an easy situation. Um, working with those individuals, you have to have compassion, you have to be caring. You have to be able to sit back and just blow it off when it gets tough. We've got huge seniority in our, in our group homes. Uh, the, the group home that I manage currently, our tenure is approximately 12, an average of 12 years per employee. So I think that says a lot about, you know, uh, what community mental health has to offer. We're a very stable employer. The staff here are friendly, they're helpful, they're supportive, they're courteous. Um, we want everyone to be successful here and it's a very warm and friendly environment to work in.